Hello my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. So I am super super excited because in this video right now as we speak the Sephora VIB sale is happening. Is it still called the VIB sale? I will post what the sale is actually called as well as dates right over here of when it will be your turn to shop. Starting today November 1st Sephora Rouge members do have access to start shopping the sale and get 20% off. Then November 5th, VIB members, which is where I stand. I'm honestly surprised that I'm not over at Rouge, but I'm also proud of myself that I didn't hit that category. VIB does start November 5th, so that is when your, yours truly will be shopping the sale. And then after that, insiders will be able to shop at the sale. As soon as you sign up, you are automatically an insider. And so on this date, because I can't remember off the top of my head, you will then be able to shop the sale. Now, because of the different tiers, Rouge members do get 20% off, VIB gets 15% off, and then insiders get 10% off. No matter what tier that you are in, all products under the Sephora collection, anything Sephora, is 30% off, and that is to all members. That's really, really exciting, especially because I do have a lot of favorites from the Sephora collection in this video. So if you wanna know what I recommend, keep on watching. Now, I will say that I had to be very picky choosy because I have tons and tons and tons and tons of makeup, okay? That's not a secret. I love makeup, I love shopping for makeup, I love putting on makeup. So I do have a ton of makeup and a lot of it is products that you can get at Sephora. So I did, was very, very picky. So just because I might've talked about something being in a favorite in the past, and it's not in this video, this video would be like five hours long if I put absolutely everything in this video, but I really wanted to narrow down to products that is also very recent. So products that I maybe was using consistently a year ago may not be in rotation as consistently today. So I just wanted to really, really, really be Nick picky with what I was choosing. So I will be participating in this sale. I'm really excited. I already have my cart ready to go. I just need to check out. Stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Sephora collection products. Sephora has such great and amazing selection of different products to really create a full face. They also have really good brushes as well. I don't have any of their brushes, but I heard really good things about their brushes as well as touching them and, and, and stuff in stores, they feel really, really good. I just have tons of brushes, so I don't have any. I do have their puff. It is dirty because it is used and loved. Um, they do have two, so just be careful because I recommend this one. The one that looks like your traditional puff, you can flip it inside out and use both sides. Um, one side does though have like a little pocket to, to pinch and like really get in there. Um, so this one here is my favorite. They do have another one and this one is good as well. I mean, it's loved and used. But if I had to choose to repurchase one, it would be this one. Um, but this one was the very first puff that they came out with. Um, so it's a little bit more, I would say, bigger and rounder, if you wanna see the difference. And it has more of like a, I don't know, like a different material. It's very like lush and soft versus this material. So they're both really good. I use this one quite a bit and it's also very, very flexible. Like you can pinch this and really get in there. So to be honest, I do recommend both of them. But again, if I had to choose, I probably would get this one again. This one is also very, it's not stiff at all. You can pinch it, make it as little as you want. So they're both really good, but I do like this one a little bit more. Remember 30% off, okay? and their stuff is already pretty cheap compared to the other products in their store and online. This has very, very quickly became a holy grail, okay? I am almost done with this. If I could like scrape the insides and see exactly where I'm at, I'm probably like down to here. Like it looks full, but I promise you like even here you can see, I might even be like halfway because you can start to see like some some separating but when I like squeeze this out like I'm getting like air where I really have to shake it to like squeeze it out so that's telling me that I'm getting pretty low but this is my everyday okay this is my everyday holy grail I'm not wearing it today 
but this is my everyday holy grail especially for work because it is so light and just skin like it's not heavy it's just great for work and this is the Sephora reveal the real soft radiant skin tint now just because it's a tint it does give me some coverage it evens out my redness and it just gives me like enough for the day you know I'm not looking to be full glam full kicked on you know I'm just looking for just to look a little human awake and presentable you know and this this is good okay this is really really good for me it is not dewy I can wear this alone I don't need to set it and I am one that like if I'm putting on a foundation I need to set it right this I don't need to set it okay I can just put some products on top go out the door and it's pretty good this one is in the shade 170 O light I do have a lighter shade in my Sephora cart for the winter months coming because this to be honest, replaced my Fenty. Oh my God, I don't even remember what it's called anymore. I will go ahead and put it right here. This, this was my holy grail. That, I finished it up, I used it, I was gonna purchase it again, and then I hold off for a bit, because I have other tints that I was trying to use up, but then this one came out, this one replaced it. Okay, this one's so much cheaper, it's only $22, 30% off, you're gonna get an even more lower cost. It's just so good, okay. If you like the Fenty, you'll like this one. So good. I promised myself I wasn't gonna be super chit chatty because I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm sorry. <laughs> bronzer, if you're looking for a new bronzer, Sephora has this beautiful bronzer. It says it's a matte bronzer, but it does give you a little bit of glow. This one is in the shade 02 Beach Bum Tan, and it is literally perfect for me in the summertime, and I can go in with a light hand in the winter time. But I don't know if you guys can see how it has like a little bit of like a sheen. So it says a matte bronzer, but I feel like it does give you a little bit of life to your skin. It's not shimmery. It's not overly glowy or anything like that. But it does give you almost like a satin finish. But I love it, okay? I love this bronzer. This is a pretty, like I got this I think at the last Sephora sale. And you can see it's it's been loved. I love it. If you're looking for a good highlighter okay and you are still like in the 2016 era which there's nothing wrong with that okay don't let anyone tell you that there's something wrong with that there are days where I just want a little bit of glow okay and I don't have this on today I'm sorry but this is such a beautiful highlighter it's gorgeous and this was made in Italy so you know it's going to be such a great formula and great quality anything highlighters made in Italy chef's kiss okay but this is just such a gorgeous highlighter and it's not like glittery it's just like that Ooh, it's just that like beautiful but you can like you see what I mean it's almost like that wet cheek look and you can like build it up and make it blind or you can like make it subtle and just give you a little bit of like a I've been drinking my water you know what I mean so they do have I think like four different shades in this highlighter color so go get you a highlighter I know eyeshadow palettes are not really in right now not a lot of people are like eyeshadow so I don't have a whole lot of eyeshadow palettes to talk about I actually just have two palettes but this right here the Sephora eyeshadow in the shade flawless 332 flawless 332 it's just such a great for me anyways like on my skin tone it's just such a great like everyday eyeshadow when you just want something a little bit more than bronzer in your eyelid right you just want just a little bit more color it's just it's perfect okay I love it I bought it for that reason where if I don't know what to do I just put this in my eyes and I'm moving on it blends beautiful it's not patchy as you can see I'm almost done with it I recommend they have so many shades so many different finishes in this single eyeshadow so recommend speaking of eyes these eyeliners are so good so so good i have more colors in my cart and i i cannot wait this is the sephora 24 hour colorful crayon um eyeliner and it's waterproof but even other eyeliners that say waterproof still don't do anything they don't they still like you know like bleed down and disappear no no I put this black one on and I was so amazed I did not have to touch up all day 
it was very much there still at the end of the day and it did not smear it wasn't like anywhere where it wasn't supposed to be so so good so I do have a brown one I think it's cocoa and there's another one called it's like a really like rich maroon color Ugh, it looks gorgeous so and then there's like a blue one that I think I want to get to but I'm not sure yet um, but this one is just like the nude one. This one's in the shade Coconut. And the black one is in the shade Black Lace. But Coconut is your typical nude. So like, you know how people used to put white in the waterline? Well, nude I think is a little bit more flattering. But they won't budge. They will not budge. And they're way more affordable. I know a lot of people love the Makeup by Mario ones, which I do like that one as well. But if you want something a little bit more affordable... This is where it's at. I think this is the last Sephora product that I have because again, I was just, I have more, I have other Sephora products in my collection, but I really wanted to narrow down to something like Holy Grail. This pencil, it's called Nothing But Nude and it is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. It is a wind up, so you can wind it up. You don't have to sharpen it and you do have like your little point sharpener to make it a little pointy again. I love this color. I love this color so much. It's such a perfect color. Actually, you know what? I put on a different lip liner. Not really showing, is it? It's hard to tell with this more pinky lip lip but you can see it like right there on the top i don't know it's just such a beautiful nude lip liner it didn't like mesh well with the velvet formula underneath it but i love this lip liner so much it is more creamier but it does stay it's not one that i have to reapply every five minutes so it is a creamier it's not like your pencil one where it's a little bit more dry but i still love it if you're looking for a new lip liner they have tons of shades as well so I do recommend. All right, moving on. So for primers, so moving on to other products that are not in the Sephora collection, this primer, I know it's pricey, so right now is the time to get it during the Sephora sale, especially if you can get 20% off, that would be amazing. But this is the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. I have it on today, and I just love it, okay? I love this primer. As you can see, we're very very low on it and i will 100 percent repurchase this when it's finished during a vip sale of course because i bought this full price and i was like what was i thinking i should have waited for a sale so if you are looking for a little bit more of a bougie primer that actually works and does something this one right here okay and again i know it's pricey so i would not be recommending this to you if i did not love this primer if you want something a little bit more glowy and you're like, I know I need a little bit more life in my skin, the Say, this is the Glow, Glowy Super Gel. Okay, this one is in the shade Warm Glow. I think this was a limited edition, but they do have like two other shades that are a little bit more permanent, like a bronzier shade and a lighter shade. This one I think is like in the middle, but these, this is a mini one, but these are so good, okay? When I want my skin to just have a little bit more glow underneath whatever I'm putting on, whether it's a skin tint or foundation, this is just amazing. But it's not going to leave your skin looking super glowy or metallic or like Tin Man. It's just going to make you make your skin look healthy. Like you can wear this on its own if you want to. So I love these. It feels good on the skin. It doesn't make you slippery. The only thing is I'm not a fan of the smell. And it's not because it's old. Um, right from the beginning I just I'm not a fan of that type of scent and it's probably like the unscented scent maybe I don't know but I'm not a fan of the scent but it's a good primer though so I'll deal with it the only other foundation that I have in this video is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation this is my go-to foundation first of all the bottle just feels amazing okay mine is in the shade 145 light cool but this foundation is the foundation that I go to when I want more of a beat face. I want to be a little bit more full glam, birthday party, you know, date night, concert, whatever. This is the foundation that I go to. 
you know if I want it to be a little bit more lighter I'll just put a little bit less on if I'm in the mood to wear this foundation and I'm not doing anything crazy but this foundation is just it just looks so good so good on the skin it's going to give you the coverage it's going to make your skin look beautiful and flawless but it's not going to look cakey and like heavy it just like melts into your skin but just gives you what you need so house labs lady gaga did it so good okay her concealer is good too but i don't say that i reach for it as often as i do her foundation so the concealer that i do reach for pretty often which i mean I was gonna clean it up but you know what this is satisfying to see makeup used and abused and loved it's just so good but this is the hourglass now if you have like really dry under eyes you may not like it but this one is in the shade fawn and yeah I, I love this concealer so much I do reach for this concealer when I have a little bit more darker circles I need more coverage I am having a more fuller glam day I will go in the trick with this concealer for people who are like I don't like the concealer is you can't over blend it don't over blend it once you put it on blend just a boop, 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 and leave it leave it I know I'm an over blender I love to just I can blend 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 my foundation all day I can blend my eyeshadow all day okay I blend like crazy but what I've learned with this foundation is that you cannot over blend or foundation concealer is that you cannot over blend you just put whatever you need just put a little bit don't do the whole full triangle you don't need that just a little bit blend and it's gonna look beautiful okay I do set it and I don't have issues with like looking like really cakey or under dry so but this is a concealer that I do love I just love hourglass okay they just know how to do it speaking of hourglass this is old this is a older collection they usually come out with these palettes every holiday um so they do currently have these types of palettes going on they're just gonna have a different designs different shades but if you can get one of these palettes i recommend okay because i was gonna individually buy the bronzer the blush the finishing powder the highlight and then i discovered this palette because it was around i think christmas time and i was like wait if i add up obviously the pans are smaller but I, I was like if i add up the amount i'm gonna spend on these powders individually versus this you're saving so much money and i've had this now for a couple years and i reach for it like crazy and i'm still not through it so i think 100 that it's worth it um this is what the color story is in this one but again they have different palettes now with different shades in this one here for instance you had your finishing powder two blushes a bronzer and your highlighter so like everything hourglass and when i tell you when i tell you that when i use this palette the amount of compliments that i get on my skin how my skin just looks glowy but like not like greasy glowy just like you look healthy look you look like you're hydrated you look like you're happy like you're thriving i love your makeup i love your skin like the amount of compliments that i get showered in when i wear this like i know it's gonna be a good makeup day when i put this on so again this specific palette is not available anymore but they do have out their new holiday palette so i recommend if you're looking into hourglass powders and you ever wanted to try them now is the time to do it because not only could you get these palettes where you're getting a couple of their powders in one but you're also getting a good percent off too depending on where you are in the tiers but 10% is better than nothing so sign up if you're not a member already setting your face Huda Beauty and one size I oh my god oh my god I love these so much okay this is the Huda Beauty I got powder everywhere so whoopsies and I I use this so much and there's still so much powder left in this this one is in the shade cherry blossom cake so yeah so I love this this is their easy bake loose baking and setting powder they do have pressed versions as well which I do want to get eventually I just I'm not gonna get it right now because I already have the pink loose version so but I'm telling you I do not have it on today I have the kimchi 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 that one I have that one on today but this one still gives you like it's blurred it's it just looks gorgeous okay it looks gorgeous it looks blurred the pink one helps blend like your pink blush it just makes everything look flawless but even if you don't want the pink one the powders itself is just so good and just makes your skin look so airbrushed airbrushed and flawless and beautiful same thing with the one size 
Now for one size, I have it in ultra pink. Again, I was just really, I'm really into the pink powders, but also I got a mini one because the Huda Beauty, I didn't like how the mini one was. Like they do have mini ones, but I don't like the packaging. Um, but I did grab a mini one of the one size. And again, I still have a good amount left because I'm not using it every single day, but it was nice for me to try it. And I really do like it. Now I will say if I had to choose, I would probably go with the Huda Beauty one again. Um, but this one is really, really good too. And I still recommend it. Blush, blush, blush. Every, if you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I am a cream blush. Okay. So I love cream blushes, but again, I try to just narrow it down a lot. Okay. So I picked two, which was, it hurt my soul. Um, the say cream blushes are so, so good. This one's my favorite. This one's in the shade Chili. And I just love this one. I love it all year round. It's a great fall shade. It's a great winter shade. Okay, Chili. It literally makes you look like you're chilly. Um, it's a nice shade in the summer time, the springtime. It's just a really great shade. But overall, I do have other shades as well. And they're so good. If you can get a holiday set and get like a couple minis, you don't really need the full size. I'm telling you right now, like I had this for a while and there's so much product in these little mini ones so i recommend to get a holiday set with different shades versus just spending money on just one shade but if you want to do just one shade obviously do you but the shade chili here is just gorgeous but the safe formula in itself amazing okay i love love this one was a recent discover and this was accidental so not really accidental but like you know i had no intentions on trying this blush um i got it as like a points perk when i was at sephora they were like do you want to spend a couple points and i was like sure um and so i got this here which is the bare minerals complexion rescue bronzer blush and bronzer type of thing this one's in the shade kiss of mauve it is so so good okay one it lasts forever okay it lasts forever on the cheeks but two, like, I don't know if you can like, it just gives you that beautiful, like, well, first of all, that glow is just amazing, but it dries down. It's not going to be greasy or anything like that. It's great for the summertime. They do have other shades, so I recommend looking into their other shades, but this one is just so great in the summertime. Like this just gave you that beautiful, like bronze babe look, even in the fall time when you want that warm look. It's just so gorgeous, okay? And that swatch did not give this justice. On the cheeks, it blew me away, okay? This is obviously a small mini version, but obviously you can get the full size version. But it's so good, okay? It's so good, it blew me away. It, it was a while, it's been a while since I was blown away. It's so good. Eyeshadow. So this is the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. I know this palette has been talked about to death. Um, it's the only eyeshadow palette that I can like really recommend. I, just like everyone else, do not reach for eyeshadow palettes as often. I still buy them here and there, but I don't reach for them as often as I used to. Back in the day, I would say this would have been destroyed, panned, you know what I mean? Um, I do go in with very specific shades, and it's hard to tell. It looks like I didn't even use this, but like I'm trying to get like up close. Like This shade here, I... I don't know how it's not even like more dipped in which I, I guess it's great because you're getting a good bang for your buck because you're not just flying through these shades because I use this shade and this shade I use so much like so much but I'm not reaching for this I'm reaching I'm reaching for this palette and I'm using these two shades and you can tell that I dip my brush in there but it's not as dipped as I would want to see it so I want to see some pan um, but yeah, I just think it's a beautiful palette. It's an all matte palette. You can have your little shimmers on the side and then you have your mattes here. Um, some people would like to see more cooler tone. I am a warm girl, so this was fine with me. But like the fall time, ugh, I just love this palette so much. This one specifically, I don't think you can get at Sephora. The reason I'm showing you is because I think they do have another, I think they have like a quad at Sephora so they have the quad the moon dust quad at Sephora and I think they have this one at Ulta so I just wanted to talk about these eyeshadows though like the urban decay cowboy space cowboy eyeshadows amazing okay I have this palette on my eyes today and even if you cannot get this specific palette at Sephora 
they, again, they do have the moon dust quad, so they do have like uh, their own. I just recommend to get something. Get something regarding the moon dust line. It's just these eyeshadows out of this world, okay? Mascara. Tarte just has my heart when it comes to mascaras, okay? There's quite a few mascaras that I do like from Sephora that I could recommend, but these are the ones that are currently in my collection that I've been reaching for nonstop. This one is almost empty, okay? I have used this to death, okay? I just love this. I got this years and years ago and I forgot all about it. And so this came in like a little Sephora favorites collection gift set thing. And I tried it again and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I love this mascara. So this is such a good mascara. This is the wand and it just adds your length. It adds your volume. It's great, okay? It's a great mascara. It is the Lights Camera Lashes. This one is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara and it's what I have on today as well, okay? Look at that. And so again, it's just a good mascara. It gives you the length. If you want a little bit more volume, like if there's days that I want more volume, I'll just go with this one all over top. It layers well, even if the other formula is not tubing and it's a tubing mascara. So it's just gonna come off in little tubes and you're not gonna have the little raccoon eyes. So you should have a good mascara, okay? I am obsessed with lip products lately, so I do have quite a few to talk about here, but to set your face, I love this one. Okay, the one size is nice too, but the aerosol can just sometimes be a little too much. But the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury, this again is a miniature version. It's not a full size, it's like her travel but it's still a really good size like this is like probably a good size of what a lot of elf setting sprays are and i had it for quite some time okay i used the heck out of this in the summertime and i'm just now getting low so it's still gonna last you pretty often especially if you have other setting sprays that you're rotating through i if you want to get the large get the large but this was fine because obviously it's charlotte Tilbury, so it's gonna be a little pricey um but it's so good okay i have it on today and it's just it's gonna lock your makeup in and ain't gonna, ain't gonna go nowhere, okay? It's gonna be there for a long time. I just wanted to shout out the Beauty Blender because this was the very first time that I purchased a Beauty Blender. I think I got it at the last Sephora, like, event. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna spend $20 full price on a Beauty Blender when I can go to the drugstore, but I really wanna try it, okay? All my years of doing makeup, I've never tried a legit, real Beauty Blender. Now, I cannot. I cannot go back. I don't think I can go back. Um, a lot of drugstore sponges are just like changing the materials. So like the e.l.f. one, the Total Face Sponge, I loved that one, but they changed the materials and I don't like it now. So this is just my now go-to sponge. It's dirty because I did use it to do my makeup today. Um, but yeah, so I think that if you never tried a beauty blender or you want to just restock, now's the time to do it because you're getting a good percent off, so. And last but not least, lip products okay lippy products so i have some moisturizing i have some a little bit more on the like side so okay makeup by mario makeup by mario has my heart okay and i forgot the lip liner but his lip liners are so good i recommend his lip liners um this lipstick in the shade erin i think the lip liner is in dusty pink i think it's so good and it pairs so well it actually came in a set with this on a holiday for a holiday set two years ago. And this is a mini, okay? Now, I will show you. Okay, this is it wind all the way down. So I'm using it, okay? Because when I first got it, it was, you know, it was full. Um, but you still got a good amount. Like, I still have a good amount in here. And I have this for two years. And you can see, like, how flat it is. I used the heck out of it. But it's like halfway. Like if I had to guess, it's like right here. But again, when I roll it out, there's still so much product. So you get a good amount. So if you see any holiday sets from him, I recommend them. But this lipstick in shade Erin, it's like a cool mauve pink, I don't know, brown. It's just one of those shades where like, what are you? But it's just so good. It's so good, okay? And I love wearing this in the winter and in the fall. So good. But the lip liner, great, okay? Same thing, the Pillow Talk lip liner is amazing. I recommend to get that to go with this, um, but I just forgot to grab it. But this is the Pillow Talk lipstick, like the original. And again, I just love it. I love this, it's like your perfect everyday shade. I will always 
have this in my collection and I feel like you can always get this in like little like gift sets and minis and things like that so I really 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 do recommend looking at what's out there especially around the holiday holiday time I just love this lipstick okay it's so good I lost my original one my very first one that I've ever gotten I lost it I don't know where it's at and I was like halfway through it so a little bummed about that hopefully one day I'll find it but this is a newer one and I love it so much. They do have different shades, different formulas, so definitely check them out. Um, these, these are a bit newer. These came out, I think, this year. This shade is a new shade. This shade just launched, I think, maybe like a month ago. Um, but I love it. So this is the shade that I have on today. Dusty, no, Hush Rose. Hush Rose. So this is the shade. That I have on right now and I love this formula it is like a velvet so it's not like a matte where it's gonna be like drying out your lips it's not transfer proof but it still lasts pretty long like it's not a like like I've been talking now for a while and it's still there so and then this one is in the shade pure Hollywood so this one's gonna be a little bit more of your mauve nude closer to brown and this is gonna be a little bit more pink. So I just love them. They have so many shades that are so good. If you love nudes, you're gonna like love this. So go check these out. So good, okay. And then if you want something to look, look a little glossier, okay, a little glossier, a little plumper, Makeup by Mario, once again, has my heart. This one's in the shade Nude Glow. Uh, it's just, mm, I should put it on right now. It's so, so good. Okay, these make your lips look so juicy like juicy okay this one's in the shade pink glow and they're both amazing i discovered this one in like again a little like holiday set and i just had to purchase a full size so because i had this one already i purchased the nude one because i knew i was gonna love the nude one and of course i do nice little brown lip liner and this yes i love me some lippies okay i'm the girl at the end of the week that I can't shut my purse because of all my daily lippies combos and then I have to empty my purse and like restart you know what I mean lip balm summer Friday summer Friday is my girl I love it this one is in the shade or in the scent brown sugar I am ordering their little holiday set that has like a whole bunch of like their different scents this one is also in that one but I don't care I love it okay there are days where I want to gloss but I don't want it to be sticky and I don't want to deal with like you know I need moisture putting one of these on is so great you put a lip liner on you put this on and you're good to go it's so glossy like you look like you have a gloss but you're you have a balm on and you're like moisturizing your lips with the lip balm so like it's the best I love it so much I do have a different shade um, but it's more of a summer shade it's like a little bit more on like I think it's called poppy I think it's like a more like burnt orange type of shade but i love this one my husband got me this one last year for christmas and i love it um this is another one this one's more affordable but you can get it at sephora it's the k skin isle lip balm spf 30 okay i wore the heck of this i don't know if you can see how like flat it is i wore this so much in the summertime especially at the beach because it has spf in it but it just makes your lips look juicy and yummy and just like you just ate a popsicle like it is so good and what i like about it is like the the tip it's the same as the summer friday so i'm not saying that they're duping or anything like that but i'm just saying if you like the tip they're dirty i use it okay i use my stuff but you can see it has like that rubber tip so does this one as well so i don't have another shade in my sephora cart and i'm debating if i want to get another one or not or just wait because i have a lot of lip balms okay i have a lot of these but i do use them a lot so i can't see myself going through them but they're both so good and that's it guys okay that is it I, this video is right now sitting at 40 minutes with no editing so i'm hoping hope, hopefully i can get it down a little bit um but i did a lot of chit chatting and i didn't really make a whole lot of mistakes so i don't think it's going to be too much shorter but we all like a long video get some popcorn get some snacks hopefully you stuck around if you did thank you guys so much have fun shopping the sephora sale you will have a haul coming very very soon until the next video bye guys